Good morning. The European Parliament's Budget Control Committee yesterday said it had found no evidence of deceit or fraud in Spain's handling of the 31 billion euros it's received so far in special European Union post-pandemic recovery funds. But a visiting delegation urged the Madrid government to be more transparent and flexible in its use of the funds and providing public information about them. Speaking at the end of a three-day inspection visit, Committee Chair Monica Holmeyer said she was impressed with the Spanish authorities' commitment to make the most of the funds, but added that she recognised that administrative hurdles are a major complaint from several regional officials. Spain was one of the first EU countries to apply for and receive funds from the EU Pandemic Recovery Fund and stands to be among its main beneficiaries and is set to receive a total of €140 billion, Euros, half in direct transfers and half in loans. Prior to the visit, the European Commission last Friday said it would deliver a further €6 billion Euros to Spain, indicating its satisfaction with how Spain was handling the money so far. Ms Holheimer added that the future funds would be contingent on Spain completing a reform of its pension system, but said Madrid appeared committed to doing this when there was no prospect of the money being blocked. The government plans to send six German made to a four leopard battle tanks to Ukraine after they undergo repairs, so the Defence Minister Margarita Robles told lawmakers yesterday, adding that the number could increase over time. She said the tanks would be ready by late March or early April. Currently, other NATO countries have promised to deliver 48 Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine, according to the NATO chief Jens Stoltenberg. Three EU countries are also going to send 178 older Leopard 1 tanks. Poland was also ready to send 60 modernised Soviet-era tanks, in addition to its 14 Leopard 2s, whilst the UK will supply 14 Challenger 14 tanks. The British Embassy has issued an update on the exchange of driver's licences. The update issued yesterday came from the Ambassador Hugh Elliott. He said he had expressed the urgency of the situation, which the Spanish authorities acknowledged, saying the situation will be finalised in the next few weeks. The Ambassador used his driver's licence update to once again say he understood the frustration and they will continue to put pressure on the Spanish authorities to push through the legislation. Meanwhile, the DGT issued a timely reminder to drivers that failure to use a specific compulsory action could lead to road users being fined and warned that last year ended with significantly more road deaths than 2021. The DGT said there was an increase of 14% in road fatalities over the year. There are many causes for this increase, but communication of intention with other drivers remains key to staying safe. It noted that using your indicators is compulsory and attracts a €200 Euro fine if you fail to do so. That's the latest from GRE. I'm Bob James.